Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Today we have a special mail call. From Benchmark Abrasives. I used their coupon code FREEMIX to get uh, some flap discs. Now this kit came with 10 discs. And they range in grit. We have three and 40 grit, three and 60 grit, three and 80 grit, and one and 120 grit. As I mentioned earlier, these discs were free. All I had to pay for was $10 worth of shipping. Use the coupon code FREEMIX, all lowercase. Disclaimer, Benchmark Abrasives did not pay me for any of this. They did not send this for free. I bought it with my own money. All I had to pay for, like I said, was shipping. So this will be an honest and fair review of their product. I also picked up a box of 25 grinding discs. I was really shocked at how good of a deal these were. 25 grinding discs were $25 for the whole entire thing. Now for comparison, discs at Home Depot are usually about three or four bucks a piece, depending on what brand. And discs at Harbor Freight are either two or two dollars cents a piece, again, depending on what brand. So this is an extremely good deal. Let's see how well they work. All right, we got our grinding wheel on our angle grinder, and give this a go. Overall, these grinding wheels worked exactly as they should. You gave it some RPMs and some pressure, and it'll grind right through whatever you put it against. In this case, that was some mild steel U-channel with some TIG and stick welds. It's smoothing them out so you wouldn't even know that the welds were there. After a few minutes of grinding, you can see it start to wear out, of course. That's what grinding discs do, but not bad. That short time covered half of this piece of U-channel. Now to get rid of this disc, now throw on one of the flap discs, see if we can get that thing smoother. I'm losing daylight, so we're just gonna run to the 80, then straight to the 120 and see how smooth this thing gets. And that 80 grit was a little finer than I expected. I probably could have started with 60, maybe even 40 to get some of the deeper grinding grooves out, but that's okay. The surface is much, much smoother. Of course, there's still a couple of grooves and scratches in there uh, where the grinding disc cut pretty good. We're gonna jump to the 120 and see what it does on the smoothest parts. You can see that we really have a few different finishes now. And this area is our straight grind marks from that grinding disc. This area, you have the 80 grit flap disc. In this area, we have the 120 grit flap disc. I can feel a noticeable difference in each of them, progressively getting smoother. Now, if I had some more daylight and I was able to make every single increment, 40, 60, 80, and 120 on the flap discs, I could have gotten this much, much smoother. But considering what I did, it came out great. I could easily see using these flap discs on a fabrication project where you need to go from a rough surface all the way down to a smooth, clean, uniform surface finish. From here on out, it's really just seeing how long these abrasives last, both the grinding discs and the flap discs. But so far, so good. In all, I paid 10 bucks to ship the flap disc set and a dollar per grinding wheel. And uh, they worked awesome. I would strongly recommend uh, getting either of these abrasives uh, if you'd like to see more product reviews and projects and cool stuff, uh, please subscribe.